Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video we're going to see how guides work in Photoshop Elements. And I'm using Photoshop Elements 12 for this video. To make guides visible, the first thing you need to do is show the rulers. If you go to the View menu, you'll see that you can select rulers right here. But also notice there's the keyboard shortcut, and this is on a Mac it would be shift command R. So on a PC it would be shift control R. So I'll just select it from here. And now you see we get these rulers on the top and left side of, of our uh, live work area and elements. The way you get guides is once you have your rulers showing, you can just click and drag and pull a guide out onto your image and then let go and there you have a vertical guide and to get a horizontal guide you would go to the top ruler and click and drag down and you can use guides to line up items or type or type in photos or whatever you want to do. They're non-printing, so even though you can see them in elements, if I were to print out this image of these three shapes, those guides that we see would not print. The other thing you can do with guides is you can make them so they snap. If I go to view and there's this snap to, and see one of the choices over in this pop-up menu is guides. If I click on that, things when they get a certain distance from the guides, they'll automatically snap right to the guide. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. I have these layers, if you look over in the layers panel, each of the three shapes is on a separate layer. I'm going to line them all up to that guide on the left side. Make my blue triangle layer active. Then I'll get my move tool from the toolbox and now I can click and drag that around. Watch when I get the left edge of the triangle close to the guides. See it just kind of snaps to it. If I keep dragging over towards the left I can push beyond that guide but it does give you an easy way to line up to those guides. And now I'll make the red square layer active. Click and drag that over towards the guide and I'll do the same with the green circle. You can hide the guides if you find them distracting. Just go up to view and click on guides and notice there's a keyboard shortcut. On the Mac it's command semicolon so it'd be control semicolon on a PC and or you can just click it here and it will hide the guide. Those guides are still there. I can show them again if I go back up to view and click on guides, those same two guides will appear. Now if I want to remove them from my image, I just go over them with the move tool. Let's see, I'll make the blue triangle the active layer. Normally if I would use my move tool, it would move the blue triangle, but when I get over that guide, the guide takes priority over any objects on the layers or whatever are in your photo. So once you see that double-headed arrow with the horizontal lines on each side of the guide, that indicates that I can now click, drag it back up into the, uh, the ruler, and now it's gone. And I can do the same thing over here. I could drag it to this ruler. Or, let me show you what else, I could drag it over to the right. And as long as you drag it off the edge, it will be gone. So that wraps up this video on how to use guides in Photoshop Elements. This is Rick from Essential Photoshop Elements saying take care.